You don't have control of the outcome that you're seeking at the end of this year. You really don't. So know your norm, and then you've got to, you've got to apply some tension to that. You've got to be willing to kick it up a notch. And then you have to understand that, that becomes your new norm. You've got to create that new norm. You've got to create the identity of the outcome you want or you're not going to get it. It's self-reflection day today. Never quit trying to quit something that's really, really good for me. Here's what I want you to know here. Quit the habits that are getting in the way. Never quit the trying to quit. Recognizing. You know, we've had a family that was always overweight, so I'm going to be overweight. We had a family that was always poor, so I'm going to be poor. That's identity, right? That's your world view. That's your life view. You've got to have that in line. You know, I think so often um, people think, and at least I know I did, that where we're at right now in life or the hand that we've been dealt or, you know, all the things that have happened to us in our past define our future. And they shape your future, but they certainly don't define it. Um, that definition um, that, that you're going to leave, that mark you're going to leave on the world uh, is ahead of you. Uh, but you've got to, uh, you got to move forward. you got to move past. You've got to find forgiveness. Um, you know, and I struggled with that for a long time. You know, I lived with, uh, with a chip on my shoulder, with a hardened heart. Uh, and, you know, I found that... Um, Having that relationship with Jesus really is what broke me through, um, but also just got to a point where I decided that my past was not going to define me and I needed to make some changes in my life. And I think as we grow, we still have to make changes to continue to grow, but uh, don't let your past define you. Uh, it does not unless you let it. Well, I just thought of something. So this is interesting. Do we know, do we know the date that I started? Yeah, ballpark. I mean, you can probably look at that graph and figure it out. Okay, it was 207 pounds. And what I want to show, like, again, just these small inconsistent moments, how quickly it fucks everything up. You ever do some shit at the last minute? No, never. Every week. <laughs> All right. Fucking rock and roll. Damn it. All right, rock and roll. That didn't sound like winning. Let's go do the shit. Let's go do the damn thing. And we need some banging music. We can't go over there sleepy eyes, Todd. Man, get to work, homie. Oh my way. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. People are all dressed up looking good. Get your phone on. All right, cool. I'm gonna rock the house. <laughs> MC Bruise, it came up. <laughs> what up, baby? How are you, are you doing, man? I see you. I see you in the gym this morning. I'm trying. Trying I'm nothing. Trying. You're doing. Yeah. Fuck. No such thing as trying. What up? How, how are you? Doing? Good. How you doing? Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. How's everything? Great. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Been awesome. really busy. Good. I saw you all over the damn country. The or county or how are you? state. How are you? Good. Good. I thought you were gonna drive a new car right up in here. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> it's pretty, I saw it. I looked out back last Thank week. You. That's awesome. Look at Jason Earl. Just man, you're dropping pounds already. I feel serious. Uh, good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? How are you? What's up, Andy? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Where are we going to lunch? Wherever you are. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. I got the thing I own. And when I get my Jeep, I put and breed on the chrome. Shine it up good. Hit it through my neighborhood. Motorola phone, fat limbs in the Kenwood. She just to the song the Luke, can you fire that up again? Just hit play again? It's so difficult to operate this shit. <laughs> All right, um, Jake, bring your ass over here and sit down, please. Adam, bring your ass over here and sit down, please. Get in the game, y'all. Who's over there with you? See, you're fucking Ricky all up, the youngest kid here, and you're fucking him up. Ricky, get over here. You're supposed to be leaders and shit, and you're over there hanging out, smoking. Smoking. Eating bomb bombs. <laughs> Sorry if you felt like you got called out. I always sit in the front. I'm, there's like, we've got a short crowd here today.
We do. It's a little light. It's a little light. It's because they're all on Zoom. I thought the shit was mandatory. Yeah, right? I thought this meeting was mandatory. All right, well, what's up, guys? Good morning. I hope you're all doing great today. Let's get started with prayer, and we'll uh, get rocking like we always do. I'm going to do some deep dive stuff. I'm going to talk some cool stuff, and uh, just going to do what we do. Sarah, no Virginia? Oh, she's on her way. Oh, she is. Okay. Oh, have you ever heard that song, Meet Virginia? Can someone sing it real quick? Like, just the hook? Meet Virginia. Do it again? Meet Virginia. Yeah. Nailed it. We're all gonna, we're all gonna. Meet Virginia. And so what I want to talk about today is reflecting on your first week of the new year, right? And I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive on this because for me, especially after doing 75 hard and after just looking at every single thing I do in a day, uh, and really, and I'm going to share some, some data with you from my, my app once Christian has that ready, like really recognizing <clears throat> when you're off track and how to get back on. So even now, like looking at my, my body of work during 75 hard and then uh, Christmas to New Year, and then seeing that and saying, okay, shit, I gotta, I'm a little off track. I gotta refocus and regroup. You don't have control of the outcome that you're seeking at the end of this year. You really don't. So know your norm. And then you've got to, you've got to apply some tension to that. You've gotta be willing to kick it up a notch. And then you have to understand that, that becomes your new norm. You've got to create that new norm. You've got to create the identity of the outcome you want or you're not going to get it. That's all I've got for you. It's 11 on the dot. Thursday's training, David Nummer. We'll solve the tricks and tricks. Did you say pub? A pub. I thought he said pub. I'm like, you don't even drink. <laughs> Good job. You too, brother. 11.02. I'd like you to wear this. Oh, Next fuck. Week. Next week, where? At the thing. Impact? For the impact day. When I'm speaking? Yeah. You're going to put all three speakers in the same thing? With a sport coat. Make sure it's a large because you're so buff now. Is that all right? You need to be a medium. That's sweet. Impact. Is it a large? Yeah. So I just think figured you'd wear it with some rock and some tennis shoes and a sport coat. Yeah. I might. <laughs> I love it, though. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know I'm not much of a planner. Well, I'm, I'm planning it. Well, I know. <laughs> Fontaine's going to deliver three vehicles up there. So, when, so when, when they arrive, the red carpet will be out to the valet. They'll drop off, and those vehicles will flank the entrance to red carpet. So the vehicles will be running. They can go get in them. They can check them out because they're going to be these crazy high-rise Jeeps that they've never seen. And so that's why I said if, if he had one there, because yeah. then he can have his logo on it and everything else. Yeah, no, I, I'll definitely... I think I think he'll do it. Um, and it's fine. I mean, whether he does or doesn't, we have enough vehicles now. Right. But if he still wants to get it there, it's just another opportunity for his shit to be seen. LaFontaine is one of his dealers as well. Oh, cool. So LaFontaine sells his Jeeps. So oh, well, that's what we're going to have there then. I better his Jeeps. Maybe. Well, that's what the guy said. These great big puffed up Jeeps. Supercharged oh. Jeeps. Okay. Then, yeah. then it must be his. Yeah. 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 Okay. They, they work directly with LaFontaine. All right, so then let's go back to what we were talking about, right? Should we write it? Should we do a TV ad? Should we do a billboard? We need to be running a Facebook ad for sure, which we can record today about the scholarship where we're going to pay for someone to get licensed. I mean, I think, look, are you looking for a career change in 2022, right? Um, uh, did you just get out of college and you're like, hell, I don't know what I want to do. Or, or, you know what I mean? Like, oh, there's all these different scenarios. You're in the service industry and your days have been cut and your hours have been cut. And are you recording this? At least this? a test. What's that? Are you recording this? Oh, the way you're holding it. Oh, it looks like you're recording it on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it'd be cool um, to maybe just do a test. Yeah, let's do it. On one with that coach. Let's do it. Um, and, and just anybody, really, yeah. but that are, that are kind of struggling with, like, where their identity is at. Like, mm -hmm. you know, where, like, COVID happened, maybe their career is gone. Yeah. Know, uh, and they have really no clue on what, what they're going to do. I like, the, I like the rapping in that word identity, right? Because I think that's something that, <clears throat> I mean... So many people don't even know what the fuck they're gonna do next week. Mm -hmm. Who cuts your fucking hair? Uh, why is it? Oh, it's all screwed up. No, that shit's dope, man. Oh, I need thanks. some shit like that. <laughs> I can't I, grow any at the top. I uh, went to got this done in San Antonio by some dude who's been a barber for like. So you're saying I got years. if I want that cut, I got to San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I think there's a bunch of 
even not that you necessarily need testimonials, but I think you know there's so many agents that I think would attest to the fact that their life directionally is changed by being. One hundred percent. And I think of like, and maybe we we'll do want to write this down. Like at awards night, we need to get together all of the one hundred thousand dollar earners mm -hmm. for a photo. <clears throat> okay. We also, I think. You know, that photo could even be at next week's team meeting, but I think everybody that's been in the business less than a year, a photo with them. That would be cool. Got yeah, you got double tap, dog. What the fuck? Hey, uh, how do you feel about, we're looking at our wine list for our, our awards night, Salmon Creek. Ring a bell? Salmon Creek? Yeah. Uh, they have a wine list? that they're presenting with you with options? Well, we told them we want to know what they're serving because we're paying for the top shelf and this is this is this shit's bottom bottom shelf. That ain't, that ain't talking top shelf. Dude. No. Yeah, I mean it's all bullshit and ultimately what we need to do is be able to bring our own shit. And they could just charge us a like if I mean, Salmon Creek's fucking 10 bucks a bottle. Yeah, we just right. googled it. <clears throat> they also yeah, they, said that they have some they owe Michigan me a phone wines. Call yeah, well, this is Ann. This is the director. That emailed. Yeah, we just just tell her. I mean, you know, we're we're coming top notch. We got valet service, and then we can't serve ten dollar fucking wine. Well, and I'm just gonna same conversation also of like, listen, if we're gonna do four or five events with you a year, like you gotta stop nickel and diming us and garbage. Well, and you gotta work with us. Charge us the regular yeah. shit, and we'll bring our own. Fuck. Right. I mean, that's I've seen places charge a fee per person, and we'll bring our own. It's a okay. Fee. All right. Good. Well, you got it. You're on it. We got yeah. 101 yeah. people. Yeah. All right. Peace. Can I have one of your ice cubes? See these ice creams? See these ice trees? Ice cube, babe. I don't wait. Oh, one of these. Yeah. They're getting a little crusty. Don't COVID them out. They're Just getting a little crusty. Shit. Coming from the person that's talking in my <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, last one. No. Oh, wrong. Don't your, even throw it in. That's your purse. All right. All right. What else do you want to talk about? You leaving so I can get some work done. <laughs> that's cold blooded. Don't say I never gave you anything. What, you gave me COVID? <laughs> Sarah left. Yeah, so literally, I mean, I had no money. So we'd order this breakfast and we'd split the breakfast. I know you guys used to always split the ice cubes. Did we? Mm -hmm. Shit, see? And that's how I would go there just to meet people. Yeah. No, these weren't clients. This is a guy I worked with. We were both broke as fuck. Did you remember it? What's that? Did you remember it? Here's Sarah. What is it? Got it. Norma and Floyd. Yes, Norma and Floyd. Oh, Corn beef hash. Corn beef hash, yep. It was John and Daryl, but we were eating Norma and Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, Norma. <laughs> All right, homie. I love you. We'll see you in a minute. Bye. Oh, shit. Norma and Floyd. Hey, so we're going to dinner. We're going to Craig Ryan, spending some time with my ladies from Wentworth Real Estate Group, Bria and Sarah, Hi. who did some awesome work for us. And we're gonna start this every month now, top pending, top sales agent, and culture award winner, and whoever does some great shit, I'm taking them to dinner once a month, and uh, we got Tony Tone on the microphone, rolling with us. You should lock the store down for sure. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Let's shake you. Love you, brother. Love you, man. Love you, man. Um, we need some red wine. Okay. We need some altering, and we need some shit to buy. Shit to buy? Okay. Yeah. Good. We got, we got it all. All right. Let's do it. Good, good life. I'm just living a good, good life. Good, good life. Would these go with my tux? Yeah, they All right. So I love these. Watch out. Nice. Box those oh, up. Man. We'll take. I, that we'll, was the stuff. That we'll take those. I'm not, I'm not getting me anything. I'm not leaving. Stay the night until you buy something. I mean, then I'll take, take a bracelet. I can can she work in this? She, can she go yeah. list a house in this? Yeah. Are you sure? Nice. Can you go list a house in this? I mean, it's a sweater. It's cute. It's a nice sweater. It's a beautiful sweater. All right, fire it up. Let's go. <laughs> you want to try it? No, that's perfect. You want to try it on? Oh. Hey, hey, you just gotta let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the thank you card ready. I gotta get it signed by everybody here in the parking lot. 
Uh, we're going to uh, the gym for our normal workout, but today is one of the instructors, Sarah Charles' last day. So she's moving to Nashville after she gets married this weekend, and she's been a, had a big impact on so many of us here at the gym. So uh, awesome person of faith, uh, and so just uh, trying to see her off the best we can. So. This is how it feels when you live Aww. <laughs> you want me to open yeah. it? Yeah, you can open it. This is so sweet. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for everything. We're going every 90 seconds for six sets. It's going to take us a total of 27 minutes to do this workout. Two labs, two waters. All right, rock and roll. Two dogs barking. So far away. All right, so this is something I do every day. Every single friend that I have, well, Facebook friends, I go through and wish them all happy birthday. Hey, good morning. I hope you're having a great start to your day. We're still uh, looking for your video. Send us a video. Just a short introduction. Of course, if you're in real estate, you're gonna have to do video, so you may as well start now. Peace. And then people talk about, oh, I had a bad day. Like, it's not even possible. I mean, you can have a bad moment in a day, but you can't have a bad day unless you don't wake up. Like you take any situation, right? People bitching about somebody else, bitching about their husband or their wife, complaining about a coworker, complaining about whatever it is. And there's always one common denominator, and it's yourself. And until you fix that, doesn't you're gonna you're gonna go through life complaining about all this shit, but you're part of the problem. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Oh, stay. Stay. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Got the wild child and her brother. Okay. Hi. What's up? Good how to see you. you. Good. How you been? You too. Everything going okay? Yeah, everything's good. The only thing she's been doing in the middle of the night, it's it's like almost every night. She'll start like, eh, 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 and then she'll puke a little bit. And she's eating uh, like part kibble, part raw rabbit. They eat something perhaps to fill their stomach, so giving them a small meal. Oh, really? That, just, that would be a simple thing. Right. You got a stifle issue. Got to inject that stifle. Okay. So, all three of those spots are very common. Yeah. I got them too, I think. I just wrote out the dosing. Today. Okay. So the probiotic, the small container, it'll just be one scoop twice a day. Okay. Same with the R enzymes, which is the digestive enzymes, just one scoop with each meal. All right. Got the crew dialed in. Pelvises are adjusted. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what they say about you. What's your schedule like tomorrow? I don't know. Let me ask my dogs. Just called. No mono. Wait. Mm. You said you want to sleep. <laughs> oh, I already see some big ass Jeep, so this must be the spot. You know? Alright, I got a bomb from that. Damn, that's a flip we did. I'll be Jeep real quick. Alright, Yeah, I'm gonna be owning the Jeep before I know. Whoa, whoa. I don't think he knows Josh. 
guys back there. Where's Wentworth? Oh, Wentworth he's in the back. Oh, what are oh, they doing? <laughs>